write less than, greater than, or equal to in the blank to make a true sentence. So for the first one, 3.5 and negative 3. Is 3.5 greater than negative 3 or less than negative 3? 3.5 is greater than negative 3. On a number line, here's 0, here's a negative 3, here is a positive 3 and a half. Which one is further to the right? 3 and a half. So that's where the mouth of the inequality sign opens up to, to the 3 and a half. What about this one? Negative 2, is it greater than 1.5, less than 1.5, or equal to it? It is less than. So here is the number line. You have a 0, negative 2, and here is 1.5. Which one is furthest to the right? 1.5, so that's why the mouth of the inequality sign opens up to the 1.5 because it is greater. Right, less than, greater than, or equal to is negative 1 less than, greater than, or equal to negative 2.9. Yeah. It is greater than. Here is the number line. You have a 0, a negative 1, a negative 2, a negative 3. Right there is negative 2.9. Which one is furthest to the right? The negative 1. That's why the mouth opens to the negative 1. It is the greater number. Sometimes you have to simplify both sides before you can put the sign in. So is negative 8 times 5 less than, greater than, or equal to negative 15 plus negative 25? What is negative 8 times 5. It is negative 40. What is negative 15 plus a negative 25? It is negative 40. What sign goes in here? Equals, yes. They're both the same, so it's equals. What about this one? What is negative 15 plus 4? You can use a calculator for this negative one. 11. It is negative 11. What is 6 times 0 times a negative 3? What's 6 times 0? zero. What's 0 times negative 3? Zero. 0. Is negative 11 less than, greater than, or equal to 0? It is less than. That is right. Common denominators. You're about to compare two fractions, but it's going to be useless to try this without practicing common denominators. So we're going to go through and look at two numbers and figure out what the lowest number is that both numbers go into. 4 and 6. If you want to find the common denominator and you're lost about how to find it, start with 4 and keep adding 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and then go to 6. Keep adding 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. What's the lowest number that shows up in both lists? 12. So that means 12 is the common denominator. 3 and 8. Start with the 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. And for 8, it's 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. What number is the lowest that shows up in both? 24. Right. So 24 is the common denominator. 12 and 6. 12, 24, 36, 48. And then 6 is 6, 12. And do we have to go any further? No, there it is. 12 is the least common denominator between 12 and 6. So once you find it, you can stop. You don't have to keep writing out numbers. 
What about 8 and 6? 8, 16, 24, 32, and then for 6, it's 6, 12, uh, 18, 24. What number is it? 24. 24 is the lowest number that goes into both of them. What about 3 and 5? Can you tell what it is just without writing anything down? 15 is right. 8 and 4, what would be the common denominator? 32. Not 32. It would be 8. 8 is the lowest number that both numbers will divide into evenly. 3 and 7. 21 is right. 12 and 16. 12, 24, 36, 48, and then 16 is 16, 32, 48. What is it? 48 is the least common denominator between those two. How about 9 and 6? What's the lowest number they both go into? Not 12. 9 won't go into 12. 18 is right. What about 11 and 5? Fifty-five. Twelve and eighteen. Twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six, and then eighteen is eighteen, thirty-six. What is it? Thirty-six. Nine and twelve. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six. Thirty-six is right. Twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six. So thirty-six is the lowest. Three and eight. We did this one before. Twenty-four is right. Ten and twelve. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Does 12 goes, go into any of those numbers? 60. 60, yeah. Because it's 12, 24, 36, 48, and then 60. So there it is. 8 and 10, what's the lowest number they both go into? 40 is right. So here's what you have to do. This is why we practice that. You need to find uh, less than, greater than, or equal to. In this problem that's in front of you, is there any need whatsoever to do any calculations to find a common denominator? No. no why not? Because 1 and 11 is uh, negative, so the 1 is positive it has to be 1. That's right. If you have 1 negative and 1 positive, the positive has to be greater than the negative. So negative 3 fourths is less than 3 fifths. Save yourself the time on problems like that. On this one, we should probably work this one out. Uh, what would be the common denominator between 10 and 5? What's the lowest one we can find? 10 is right. What do I have to multiply 10 by to get a 10? 1. So 7 times 1 is 7. 5 times what is 2? Or is 10? 2, yeah. So 2 times 3 is... Six. So now we have the same denominator, the 7 and the 6. Which is greater? The 7, yeah. So that 7 pertains to the 7 tenths. It didn't change. So the mouth opens to the 7 tenths. 7 tenths is greater than 3 fifths. All right, let's practice this. On your paper, make certain that you put your name at the top so that I'll know what the top of your paper is. That way, if you put in a sign like this, you can't just turn the paper over and say, well, it's actually greater than. It's got to be going just one specific way. <clears throat> the least common denominator in this problem is 45. And to get 45, I multiply this by 9. So 1 times 9 is 9. 
To get 45 here, I multiply by 5. So 1 times 5 is 5. 9 is greater than 5. So it should be a greater than sign. 1 fifths is, is greater than 1 ninth. You have three fractions. You must put them in order from least to greatest. So you should find a common denominator for all three so that you can easily compare the numerators, the numbers on top. So now you need a common denominator among all three of these numbers. So let's practice some of this first. Now back here on this screen, we have 3, 2, and 5. What denominator could I use? 3 times 2 times 5 is what? 3 times 2 is 6, and times 5 is 30. 30. So I could use 30. 3 times what is 30? 10. So 2 times 10 is what? 20. 2 times what is 30? So 1 times 15 is 15. 5 times what is 30? Six. 6. And 4 times 6 is? 24. 24, right. So now use those equivalent fractions we've just created to put these original ones up here in order from least to greatest. What is the lowest number in through here? What's the lowest number? 15. Yeah, and 15 pertains to? one half. So we write that first. It's the lowest fraction. What's the next highest fraction in this area? We had 15 that was the lowest. What's the next highest? 20. 20. And 20 pertains to the two-thirds. So two-thirds is next and then you don't have to do anything except write the last one that's there. Four-fifths. In order from least to greatest it should be one-half, two-thirds, and four-fifths. Over here, we have 4, 3, and 5. If I wanted to find the least common denominator among all those, I could start with 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, uh, 20. And then I could also do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and for fives I could do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. What's the lowest number they all three have in common? 20. Is there a 20 in all three of those? No. Anything else that shows up in all three? No. So here's a shortcut that you can use. When you're putting fractions in order, it's not going to matter if you have the least common denominator because it's not like you're going to have to express a final answer simplified in this case. So if, instead of writing all these out or keep, keep punching buttons in a calculator, you can just multiply all three numbers together, and that will help you out. So in this case, what would be the common denominator between 4, 3, and 5? Multiply them all together, and what do you get? 60, yeah, so you could use 60 if that were the problem. 7, 2, and 3 are the denominators. So what could be my common denominator throughout? What's 7 times 2 times 3? 42. So we'll use 42. And what do I have to multiply 7 by to get a 42? In other words, what's 42 divided by 7? 6. 6, yeah. So I have to multiply 5 times 6. So that is 30. What do I multiply 2 by to get 42? Is that in the other room? As soon as I go over and pound on the wall, they just they quit. It's like they know. Anyway, uh, 2 times what is 42? 21. 21. So 1 times 21 is 21. All right. We're
we're going to make this very clear to the other room. This one day only. Now we will see if they do that ever again. Okay, for the last one, what do I multiply 3 by to get 42? What do I multiply 3 by to get 42? 14, 14 is right, so 4 times 14 is what? 56. 56. Alright, so we have all of these denominators the same. Which one of these numerators in here is the lowest? 21 is right, and that pertains to the fraction of 1 half. What is the next highest after 21? 30, and that pertains to 5 over 7. And then, of course, we have 4 thirds left.